Of Maryland's 23 counties, Baltimore County has the second highest number of overcrowded schools, second most deadly roads, and the greatest mileage of stormwater polluted streams and tidal creeks. But if the county adopts these best practices, we'll be on the road to rolling back school overcrowding, traffic congestion, and pollution of the waters where many of our children play. There are more than 500 requests to rezone properties throughout the county. Many will allow increased development, which will make school overcrowding, traffic, and pollution worse. You can use this simple spreadsheet tool to determine how a rezoning request will affect your schools, local traffic, and your neighborhood waters. In June, the County Council will hold hearings on the rezoning request. We hope you will urge the Council to deny rezonings that would worsen schools, traffic, or pollution. Also, urge the Council to support the best practices. 78 or 45 percent of our 173 schools exceed the design capacity. Though this doesn't necessarily harm education quality, it certainly doesn't help. These are the 78 overcrowded schools. Since 1979, our county has had an adequate public facilities law, which should have prevented this overcrowding, but the law is broken. The county has proposed solving overcrowding by building 15 new schools and 14 additions. If we don't fix the broken APF law, then overcrowding will return with future growth. If a rezoning adds students to one of the 78 overcrowded schools, then urge the council to deny the request until enrollment declines. Also urge the council to fix the broken APF law. Most other counties make developers pay for the added school capacity growth requires. Some counties take in enough to build a new school each year. Baltimore County must begin charging impact fees too. Main road congestion causes commuters to seek alternate routes. The alternate is frequently a neighborhood street. This makes the streets more dangerous for our children as commuters speed along to avoid congestion. The county's APF law should have prevented congestion, but it's broken too. So urge the council to deny rezonings that increase traffic on congested roads and fix the broken law. Kids love to play in even small streams like this one. No home is more than five minutes from these or other waters. But 90% of these waters are not fully child safe and friendly. The cause is stormwater pollution, sewage overflows, construction site mud pollution, and the dangerous junk along far too many of our waterways. It's near impossible to keep kids from playing in these waters. By implementing these best practices, we can curb the pollution, then restore all of our waters to a child safe and friendly condition. In the meantime, we must urge the council to deny rezonings that would make these waters worse. Also urge the council to support the best practices. For further detail on these issues, CZMP, and the best practices, go to this webpage, download the assessment guide, then view the full presentation. Thank you for your time.